Hello my friends, here we are in Luminar Neo and today we are going to learn how to add bokeh or blurry background to an image that it's not a portrait. If you go to Tools on the Edit tab and you go to Portrait Bokeh, you will see it's grayed out because the program does not recognize anything that is not human. So how do we work around it? Well, let's see. By looking at the image, my background has a lot of yellow and green and um, I want to reduce the contrast into the background. First, I will go into my color uh, tool and I'll go to hue. And I never like this like greeny, yellow, greens. It's just a little bit too neon for me. So I always like to shift them a little bit into the cooler side. And then somehow they become more saturated. So you have to go into the saturation and drag it down to tone it down. And this is what we did so far with color. This is the before and after, before and after. All right, let's move on. Next, I will go to develop and I will raise the shadows. That will create even less contrast. Maybe even reduce the highlights a little bit. So let's see, that's before and after, less contrast. Of course, I do not want to um, affect the kitty cat with this. So I will mask it out with the eraser tool. That way we will have nice contrast on our subject, but reduce contrast on the background. I'm just gonna do a rough job over here. We'll just go with that. Good. Let's see, we started with this and now we're here. The next tool I am going to apply is structure. And for structure, I'm gonna go negative. And you see my whole image became blurry. Now, I do not wanna paint this on the kitty cat, so I will take my eraser tool at 100% strength. I'm gonna make it really big and just kind of paint over it roughly. I wanna go a little bit outside the line because I wanna make a little bit more soft of a transition between the focus and the blurry area. You don't wanna just stop abruptly because it does have fur. And if you had like a cup or something that has like hard edge, then you want to go as precise as you can. But because the cat has fur, I want to go gradually. So this is the structure before and after. And that made a big difference before and after. All right. Let's use a different tool. Um, we can use detail and for this, we'll take the small detail, medium detail and large details down. And if we see the before and after, before and after, that just makes my image blurry again. And I will use my erase tool, big, nice brush. I will erase it from my subject. All right. So let's see now, this is our before, this is after, and it's getting better. Now it's a little bit too bright, the background for me. So I will go to develop and I'll take the exposure down. Maybe that's too much, just a little bit down. Maybe I'll take the highlights down and maybe I'll increase the shadows a little bit just to further flattening my image. And with that, I will take my eraser, pick nice soft brush and kind of erase at 100% out of my cat. But now I will even take the strain to 50% and go a little bit more to just get a little bit nicer transition. And let's see now, this is before and after. We're definitely going in the right direction. Let's add a vignette. I'm going to my vignette, I'll go to select subject and I'll click on the kitty cat. I'll take the amount down so I can see where my vignette is. I'll make the size small, then I will adjust the roundness and the feather to 100%. Inner light, I want to give it a little bit of light so we can brighten the kitty cat. And now I'll adjust to amount to what looks good to my eye, to maybe something like that. So this is before and after the vignette, before and after. Maybe the inner light is a little bit too much. I will tone it down a little bit. 
what can we do next? Um, let's see. We can go back to structure and apply even one more structure to negative 100. And this time, instead of erasing it from the kitty cat, I will use the brush tool with size 100% and just go on the very edges. I don't want to go too close to the kitty cat. And we have that. So that was before and after structure. This is our image before and after. Before and after. What next can we do? Uh, this is optional. I will add a texture, which is just a plain color. If you see at 100%, you don't have to do this. I just have a plain color image. You can take a photo of anything that is just plain. You can make this in Photoshop or any kind of other editing tools, download it from the internet. Anyway, this is my image and I'll just choose multiply to darken it. I'll reduce the opacity, maybe to this much. And then with the brush tool, I want to erase it from the kitty cat. And that just kind of adds a layer over it, darken things out. And let's see. Now this is our before and after. Before and after. We are looking good. Let's see if we can use Relight. I can uh, darken the far. Oh, you know what? I am on my blue layer instead of my picture. So let's see. Darken the far. And that looks good to me. And then of course I will take my eraser Big, nice, soft brush, erase it from my kitty cat. Make my brush a little bit smaller. And that looks good to me. Let's see, before relight, after relight, before, after. Now, maybe I want to make those eyes a little bit more blue, give them a little bit more color. So I'll go back into my color and I will go to Vibrance, increase it. I'll go to Saturation of the Cyan's and Blue and increase it a little bit. Maybe go to the Luminance and darken it a little bit, the Cyan and the Blue. And then with the paintbrush, small paintbrush, I will just paint on the eyes. And this is the before and after, before and after. Now, a couple of more things I want to do enhance on the picture and just add a little bit of enhance. And then I will go to structure and add a little bit of structure, but this time only painted on the face of the kitty cat to just make it a little bit sharper and get the viewer's attention. And let's see, we started with this and now we're here. Before and after. One more thing I would like to do is go into develop, go into my curve tool and add a little bit of curve just to get a little bit more contrast. And let's see, maybe something like that. And this time I am going to only paint it and to my kitty cat to add a little bit of contrast. Maybe just on the face and chest. So let's see, this is before and after. Before and after contrast. Now the whole image, this is the before, this is the after. Before and after. And this is how I would blur the background on something that is not a human. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe, turn on that notification button so you will not miss my future videos. If you have any suggestions on video tutorials for the, based on photography that you would like to see, please leave it in the comments below and I will do my best 
to make it happen. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I will see you in my next video.